Hi, Macy here. Today, I'm going to show you how to customize your notification for Android Wear. Usually, all your Android notifications are going towards your Android Wear. There are certain things you can do to customize special notifications that just for Android Wear. What we are trying to do in this video is creating an Android app that sends different notifications between Android Wear and the phone itself. So let's open the app. There is a new notification I received. So it says Android Wear Press. So that's a notification on the phone. And on the watch, we'll see that's uh, the same notification swipe you will see a special button that's just for where we're we pressing this this will open this app again first let's start with a fresh new android application open the android studio create a new project i would just call it my where app next i will just go everything with default with a blank activity and then finish go to the project folders then first we need to make sure we have imported the correct libraries let's go to the build file and just add one more line just by typing compile quote com dot android dot support colon support hyphen for v4 colon to zero dot zero dot plus so let's just sync now everything is correct let's go to my activity here i'm just gonna send a notification at on create let's start with a notification just call it notification equal new notification compact builder so the contact is this and then dot add set content text then here we just need to add some string into the values strings xml i have added one for title title content is message so I'm just gonna use those as get string r dot string dot content and the uh, one more set content title so the same get string r dot string dot title so we can add an icon set small icon I will just use the uh, default one that's set in the default template then here this is the important part we can extend this notification that makes it only works with android wear just new notification compact dot wearable extender then we can just do add action so with the action that's added here will only be showing on wearable devices and we just need to end it with build let's just create the action it is notification compact action action equal new notification compact action builder then here you can see we need the icon, title, and the pending intent. And the icon, I'm just gonna use a default one, 
r dot drawable dot lc launcher then for the title we'll just use get string r dot string dot where title so this is not exist in the current string then we just need to add it into the string xml so we just call it where so this action will only be showing on android where pending intent at the end and then build so this way whenever the wearable where button is being pressed it will be calling the pending intent act and just create a pending intent so it's called pending intent equal pending intent dot get activity it's this one and what else we need request code just put zero intent we'll just call it intent we will just use pending intent dot up flag update current that's it and last but not least just create an uh, intent just intent cool new intent I will just make it call this app itself activity dot class that's so now all we need to do is to send the notification at on create so we just need to have a notification manager compact notification manager compact equal notification manager compact from this and all we need to do is use the notification manager compact just to notify So we give an ID is 001 and the notification is the notification we just created. So we are done for now. Let's just run it on our device. I hope after this tutorial, you get a better understanding of Android Wear and please let me know what you would like to see the next. See you next video. Bye.